For new recruiters, the process is both daunting, overwhelming to begin, and challenging to maintain. Let's look at some ways you can generate leads and find new clients. Hey, and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Preston. I'm a professional recruiter in the technology industry. In a couple of my previous videos, I've explored one of the, if not the most important things about becoming an effective, profitable, independent recruiter, finding clients, commonly called lead generation. Those videos contain several helpful tips, many of which we'll talk about in just a moment. But as always, I encourage you to go check out my channel for even more videos about recruiting, if you're curious. But the topic is just so important and bears review, especially considering how quickly things change here in the recruiting industry. I intend for this video to be a fairly comprehensive overview of how you can go about generating leads and building up a steady stream of clients, especially if you're new and just starting out. But before you get started, if you're excited, feel free to support a fellow recruiter by liking, subscribing, clicking that bell, it really means a lot. If you're here already, you likely know the difference between a client and a candidate, especially on the agency recruiting side. But to reiterate, a client is the company or organization that is using your service, that is recruitment, staffing, or consulting, or whatever other part of the hiring process you're assisting them with. It's one of your jobs to present to them candidates that will be suitable in whatever open positions they have available. With this in mind, it should come as no surprise that clients are the lifeblood of an independent recruiter's business. They can be thought of as the fuel that drives their success. Finding and retaining clients is essential to keeping a recruiting business afloat. But with more and more independent recruiters and agencies entering the market every day, the industry is more competitive than ever before. Some estimates there are up to 25,000 recruiting and staffing firms operating in the US. For established recruiters though, lead generation comes a bit easier. If they have a strong track record and high reputation, for new recruiters, the process is both daunting, overwhelming to begin, and challenging to maintain. If you're a new recruiter or have found your business dropping recently, let's look at some ways you can generate leads and find new clients, starting with how you can prepare. Preparation. Like with anything, it's unwise to jump into lead generation without preparation first. Without a solid plan, you risk wasting significant time by overextending yourself or looking for clients in ineffective places. With that in mind, let's review one of the most basic parts of starting an independent recruiting business, choosing a niche. Establish your niche. I've already talked about how to choose a niche. If you've made it this far, it's likely you already have one or at least a few in mind. But why is having a niche so important for lead generation? Firstly, having a niche helps narrow down your potential market. Sure, you could try to serve companies in a variety of industries, but they'd be more likely to choose a recruiter who has established themselves in a particular niche because they'll have the deeper knowledge they'll need to make more informed decisions. The top recruiters are experts in their field. This helps attract the most successful and established clients and does wonders for word of mouth. Choosing a niche should be done early on in your recruiting career, but it can certainly grow and evolve from your experience. Let your specialized niche guide you and help find and retain clients, but don't let it box you in either. One last word on choosing a niche, make sure the industry has long-term growth potential. The more specific of a niche you select, the higher potential it must be limiting or short-lived. Underwater basket weaving is likely too specific, but perhaps baskets or basket sales may be a better choice just as a silly little example. Define your ideal client. Establishing a niche will help you narrow down what you want your ideal client to look like. It's easy to go and target the biggest, most successful organizations in your niche, but depending on the size of your operation, this may not be in your best interest. For example, if you run a small agency or are a solo act, it may be much more effective to target smaller, more local businesses. If you manage a team of more experienced employees, you may want to target medium-sized businesses instead. Either way, take some time to consider the type, size, location, and revenue of your ideal client. This will give you the direction to move in and a specific type of organization to target, further narrowing your options. Identifying hiring managers. Once you've identified some organizations to target as a potential client, it's important to do your research on them. In particular, who on their team manages the hiring and onboarding process. A good place to start obviously is human resources, although the HR people team doesn't always tackle hiring alone. They may rely on hiring managers to assist them or employ the help of higher level employees or founders within the company, such as perhaps even others like project or technical leads or even other product managers. Find out as much as you can 
about the, how the company conducts the hiring process and the individuals involved in it. These will be the ones you wanna to try to get in touch with. We'll talk a little bit about how to find and reach out to them in just a moment. Research. I can't emphasize enough the importance of research at this stage. The more you know about a company, the most important team members, what their hiring process looks like and the overall work culture, the better. When you eventually reach out to them, you want your content to be as targeted and specific as possible. You can't do this without first doing plenty of research. Networking. Once you start to have an idea of which companies to target and which specific team members to reach out to, you can then start to think about maybe networking. Networking is all about maintaining an active presence in various places, in person and online in order to get noticed. It can include going to events like trade shows, business events, or other job-related conventions to connect with local business leaders and hiring managers. Also, consider participating in online forum or social media groups related to your niche. Ask candidates and other recruiters who they currently get in touch with to get an idea of who to contact. Generating leads and finding clients. Once you've done an appropriate amount of prep, you can really start to kick your lead generation into high gear. It really starts with networking, which almost always eventually leads to referrals, which are one of the most effective ways of finding and getting new clients. Referrals. Just ask any business or salesperson. Referrals are one of the, if not the most, consistently successful ways of finding new clients or business. Word of mouth marketing is the strongest form of marketing and most often leads to the longest lasting connections. That said, it requires that you establish yourself and gather a few regular clients first. Of course, you could always try reaching out to friends and family or coworkers. It's likely they might know someone in need of a recruiter. There's also the option of cold contacts or cold calling. Cold contacts or cold calling. Cold contacts or reaching out unannounced to businesses without knowing if they need your service, it was one of the most common ways of generating sales or finding clients. It remains an effective way of doing so, but the emergence of spam has made it so much harder to reach out to strangers, especially those in charge of hiring at companies. You can't just promote yourself when you reach out. You have to demonstrate your value. This is where your research starts to come in handy. What do you think the company is struggling with or lacking in their hiring efforts? What can you bring to the table that will help a company stand out to potential candidates? If you get to the point where you are automating your cold contact process, whether you're emailing or calling or direct messaging on social media, consider segmenting your contact list and provide each with specific, targeted content. This demonstrates much more value than a generic work with me request. Job boards. Job boards such as Indeed, Monster, and even LinkedIn's job section are perfect places to find potential clients. Look for companies that have posted multiple jobs on a single job board or across multiple platforms. It costs money to post on job boards, which means these organizations have already spent money in order to attract candidates. Even if they don't require your services now, they may in the future, so it's worth to reach out to them and get your name and presence on their radar. You can also search job boards for relevant positions in the niche you specialize in. Be sure you sort by recency. Job postings older than two weeks may be outdated. It's a good idea to construct a list of these companies that you can refer back to so you can do further research and identify the best employers to make contact with. Social media. It should come as no surprise that LinkedIn is one of the most valuable tools for a recruiter because it is a career-based and most professionals maintain a profile on the platform. Many organizations also use it to source and hire their candidates. The best way for recruiters to use LinkedIn is to identify companies that are actively hiring and subsequently identifying hiring managers or executives to reach out to. Facebook, Instagram, and Quora are also used by businesses and professionals alike, and you should consider using them for lead generation as well. When reaching out to potential clients via social media, remember to remain professional and courteous. Do your best to demonstrate your value and you will get their attention, but don't spam them. The most success from social media happens over time with consistent effort. Content marketing. So one of the most effective recent forms of marketing to emerge is content marketing, establishing yourself as an expert in your field through things like blogs, social media posts, and yes, even videos. Content marketing shows that you are actively engaged in your niche beyond hiring. It also helps naturally build a following, leading to word of mouth and hopefully referrals. The most important thing to remember about content marketing is to focus on where your intended audience is. For instance, you wouldn't want to focus on TikTok content if your ideal clients are not using the platform. Platform. That would be a waste of time and effort better used elsewhere. 
I could honestly certainly go on and on and on about lead generation. This was my longest video on the topic yet, and you better believe this won't be the last time we explore it. Do you have anything else to add? What are some of your favorite ways of generating clients and leads? If you like this video and want to see more like it, feel free to support a fellow recruiter, give us a like, subscribe, click that bell, it really means a lot. Feel free to also follow me at press underscore park as I try my best to also post behind the scenes daily content. Thank you so much again, and we'll see you on the next one.